Hi folks, I thought I'd show you this card. I know it's been a while since I've been showing anything because I've been working on getting my website going. It's uh, www.pinecombepotteryandcrafts.com and I've been working on putting stuff on there. It's not um, fully loaded yet, but at least it's got some stuff on there and it's just for selling some of the stuff that I do. So, um, Anyway, so I've been working on these cards to put on there and I thought, well, maybe it might be fun to show how to do them. So, uh, the card is a hello card, and on the inside, there's plenty of room to write. And it's on acetate, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. <coughs> um, what you're going to need, is, uh, if you're going to follow along with mine, is you're going to need paper. Um, this adhesive uh, paper from the, uh, the paper studio, it's called Adhesive Simplicity. And I'm using this paper right here, and I needed to take off that, oh well. Um, I'm using this one right here. <coughs> You're going to need some acetate, and I've cut some to a standard card size, which is 8.5 this way by 5.5 this way, so we can fold it together. Um, you end up making a. I'm just leaving the. Uh, uh, what's it called? The tissue paper inside just so that it kind of cuts down on these sticks here. You can see what you're doing. So I'm just going to fold that. And this is the card base. Um, my solid card stock is from Recollections. It's either white or from the, the, the purple and green are from the Soda Pop um, uh, paper pack that they have. And the stamps I'm going to use are from TPC Studios. And it's this set here, and I'm using the little bitty flower with the uh, stem, and I'm also using this flower, the small flower, and the hello. Um, I'm going to be using Stazon Black Jet Black ink, and I'm going to be using um, clear foam uh, adhesive from uh, Simon Says Stamp is where I got it. So, <coughs> pretty much everything. And some paper, I made some paper to use with this, and... Um, I'm not going to show how to make that today, but anyway, um, that's that's what I'm using. And I'll be using a Stampin' Up! Butterfly Punch. I got this a couple years ago. I don't know if they still have it or not, but I'm, I'm assuming they might. So, anyway, what we're going to end up doing is um, making a mat that will sandwich the um, the acetate in between. So we're going to use make a front one, a back one for the front cover, and for the back cover, we're going to make an inside one and a back one also. So we're going to start with the outside mat for the um, the card. And to make that, I used three pieces. Um, the first one is uh, four and a half by or four and a half by three and a quarter. The second one is four and five eighths by three and seven sixteenths. And the purple one is three and five eighths by four and three quarters. So we're going to um, start stacking those up to form a nice mat. The adhesive one is nice because all you got to do is peel off the backing and stick it down. Just center it. It's not going to be perfect, so it's not going to make it into my store. But anyway, I'll just keep going. And we're going to use our ATG for this one, for this project anyway. Layer that onto the purple very evenly. If we're going to pretend that this piece is even, even though it just kind of went wonky. That's alright. I don't care. This one's just for me anyway. So we take our clear card front and we're going to adhere this. Make sure that when you're adhering this on that you're paying attention to your spacing because how you lay this one down is going to affect how you lay down your subsequent pieces. You're going to adhere it by putting your adhesive 
not all the way to the edges because you don't want the glue to show when you're all done. I'm sorry, my cat is insane in the background here. It's all right. So we're going to put that kind of centered. And I'm going to have to remove the uh, tissue paper for the next step. But I thought it would help you be able to see what I was doing better this way. So, okay, we got this stack kind of centered here and here. Top, bottom, side to side. Centered. Um, well, then we're going to put this piece on to the back side here to cover up the adhesive. So first we're going to stamp it because it's easier to stamp before we put it down. So I'm going to figure out where I want my stamps. Get my get my stays on out. Ink it up real good. Ugh, not a word. Okay. Let's ink that up again because my fingernail got into it. I'm not sure which one. So ink it up real good. Big flower in the corner. Do it again to the bottom. Big flower in the corner. Now we don't need the big flower anymore. Just need the little one. Right there. Right there. Okay? So that's the inside of the front cover. Just put our stays on away so it doesn't get all over anything. Okay, I'm going to remove the tissue paper so that you can see what I'm talking about the adhesive. You can see how you can see the adhesive? Well, we don't want that, so we're going to make sure the ink is all dry, and it is, or it appears to be. And on this piece, you can put your adhesive right up to the edges. Okay? Okay, and it's behind the, um, you can't see it because it's behind the uh, front cover. And it um, hides the adhesive. So we got that part. And next we're going to do the inside of the back cover and the outside of the back cover. So we're going to start with a white piece. And this white piece we're going to stamp also. So let's get that taken care of now. Um, and this white piece is cut to, um, let's see, 2 and 15 sixteenths by 3 and 3 quarters. We're going to ink up the flower and put that on what's going to be the bottom corner. See? And we'll cover over the stays on again. I'm only going to need the stays on once more. And we're going to adhere that to the purple mat. And this purple mat is 4 and 1 16th by 3 and 1 8th. It's funny, as I've done this video once before, only I forgot to press the record button. So that's why I'm starting to get a little tired, so my pieces are starting to get um, a little sideways and wonky. But that's all right. And then what we're going to do with this piece is we're going to lay it down and center it. See, I'm laying it down and centering it over this piece. Okay. Now I'm going to adhere it using the ATG. So 
Okay. And now that piece is centered nicely. There, and now we're going to make a piece to go on the back. And we're going to do that by getting some stays on, or not stays on, uh -oh. ATG onto this piece. Okay, and we are going to try to center it over, or behind rather, this piece. And if I put my adhesive on right, it won't be too noticeable from behind because it kind of hides behind the purple piece. See? Okay, so that's that. And now we just need to decorate the front. So, I'll set that to the side. We're going to use the stays on and the little hello from that set. And we're going to stamp hello onto this little purple piece. This little purple piece is one and a half by one. I stamp or pink this up real good. Stamp hello onto that. See nice and crisp. I love stays on. nice and clean. Then, now we're going to adhere this onto this little white piece, which is one and an eighth by one and three quarters. See? And that fits there. This we're going to adhere And we're going to place a little bit to the side, more towards the top and side. I hope you can see this. So there. And now, using that punch, we're going to use the paper I made, and we are going to punch out some butterflies, if my son will stay out of the light. Thank you. Okay, so three butterflies. We're going to fold them so that the bodies are... Uh, we're going to fold it in such a way that it gives it a little bit of a body. So basically, I put my thumbnail to the side of the wing and fold up the rest. And that gives us a nice little area right here to call the body. Lift the wing up from all sides. And there we go. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the clear adhesive from Simon Says Stamp. I don't remember what it's called, but it's clear foam adhesive, basically. And I'm cutting off tiny little bits of it. I need three of them. And I'm putting it on the backs of the butterfly bodies. The, um, the backing off of it and just place your butterflies onto your card. And I kind of like them having hanging off a little bit because it makes them look like they're in flight a little bit. And there we go. Cute little card. Um, little butterfly wings you can pull up a little bit so they look there you go cute little card oh. on the inside plenty of places to write and there you go now I have three alright well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you um, give this card a try it's kind of fun it comes out cute and um, I think the clear acetate kind of just gives it a little bit of a different look, so it's not the same as everybody else's. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.